find the total percent change. The length and breadth of a box is increased by 18% and 15% respectively, and the height of it is decreased by 20%. Calculate the percentage change in the volume of the box. Before we get started on this problem, we need to know how to calculate volume. Volume, as we remember, is going to be equal to the length times the breadth times the height. So it's going to be L times B times H. Now, let's assume that the original length, breadth, and height are respectively x, y, and z. We don't know what they are, so we'll call them x, y, and z. That means the length, if it's increased by 18%, so my length is increased by 18%, will be x times 1 plus 18%. For my breadth, I have an increase of 15% right here. So that means my, I'm going to have my y times 1 plus 15%. And lastly, I have a decrease in the height of 20%. This means now I'm going to have to subtract. So it's going to be z times 1 minus 20%. So for length and breadth, notice that I added to show increases. And for height, I subtracted to show the decrease. Now when I multiply these expressions out, for length, I'm going to have 1.18x. For breadth, I'm going to have 1.15y. And for height, I'm going to have 0.8z. Now I can figure out the percent change in the volume. I'm still going to calculate the, calculate the percent change the same way. So percent change is still going to equal the amount of change divided by the original amount. So now we're looking at this volume and we got to make sure we're real careful with our terms here because there is a lot going on. My new volume is going to be 1.18x times 1.15y times 0.8z and I'm going to subtract that from my original volume which was just XYZ. And then I'm going to divide that all by my original volume, which again is XYZ. When I do the math out for this, my final answer will be 8.56%. So calculate the percentage change in the volume of the box 8.56%.